Hey everybody, how's it going? Made a video about the John Deere 2025R basic operation, starting, running, and stopping. I think this would be good for a beginner. That was me about a year ago, so hopefully this will help you. Let's check it out. All right, so let's start with the way the thing is parked first. First thing you'll notice is the loader is down, down on the ground. Couple reasons for that. Number one, it helps secure the tractor down. Second thing is, kind of gets it out of the way. It's not standing up where you're gonna bump your knees or something on it. And then it also takes the weight off of these hydraulics and these lift arms here. There's no reason to put extra wear on those things when it's just parked like this. So, loader's always down when you start. Next thing, the unit is in neutral, right? You can't start it unless it's in neutral, so I always leave it in neutral when I park it. Going around the back, I have a weight bracket on this, but if you have any kind of implement on the back, this three-point hitch should also be down. So that's all the way down. Again, helps secure the, the unit down, takes the weight off of all the uh, mechanics that are there. So you wanna make sure you do that. Uh, the parking brake is set. It's this little thing right here. You always wanna make sure the parking brake is on. And then the last thing is the throttle is going to be in this low position here. So this is the way the unit should be when you finish. So when it's parked, that's the way we want it to be. And uh, I'll just go through the steps of how you go and start this thing up. So let's go to that. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is put my seatbelt on. Seatbelt's right here. It's just like a car. You get in a car, you put your seatbelt on, same thing with this tractor. These things sit high up the ground, off the ground, sometimes you're on uneven surfaces, you're going to get rattled around. Big risk of rolling over with a tractor like this, so that's why you got this rollover protection bar that's at the top here. Put your seatbelt on, make sure if you fall off, nothing's going to happen to you there. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is start it up. The ignition key is right here. And this is a diesel engine, so we'll let it warm up a little bit. I'm just going to turn it to the middle and start a click, click, clicking. And once it's done clicking, then I'm going to turn it all the way over to start it up. When you're first starting it up, just make sure it runs for a little while. You know, maybe 30 seconds or so, maybe a minute if it's been, you know, it hasn't been run for a couple days. It should always get a little run time in, a little, little warm up there. And then I'm going to pull, pull up three things. So first thing is going to be the loader. Remember the loader is down when you have it parked, so that thing's got to go up. Get it up off the ground or else you're not going to go very far. So pulling up, pulling back on the joystick is going to pull up on the loader. So that'll be the next thing to get up. Then I'm going to give it a little more throttle. So this throttle is going to go up here, give the engine a little bit more power right there, taking it out of the idle into the middle there. And then the third thing to go up is this rock shaft lever right here which is gonna bring up the three-point hitch in the back. Because remember, that thing is down as well. So I always think of this procedure as three up. So up in the front, that's one. Two is gonna be the throttle, and then three is in the back. Because many times as a new user, I left these things down and was trying to move the tractor and wasn't going anywhere. So make sure those things are up when you're ready to go. Uh, then we'll release the parking brake, which is down here, this guy. Just going to step on the brake pedal over here, push this thing down, then I'll release it. Then I can put the thing into gear. So I'm going to use low gear around here. And then the only other thing to really think about is whether you need the four-wheel drive or not. So the four-wheel drive is down here. This lever, I've got it in right now. A lot of hills around this land here, so I'm going to use it. I mean, only use it if you need it. You know, steep hills, uh, snow, something. You need traction, you need that four-wheel drive on there, so that's where you're gonna do that part of it. Uh, I've already got it down to, to release it. You just pull it back up like this, put it down, you just stick it down. So then we are ready to go. And to get going, it's basically just gonna be either forward or reverse on these two pedals down here. This one on the left is forward, and the one on the right is to reverse. So that's the way it gets going and uh, we'll start it up and see how it goes.
back where we started from. Hopefully this video was helpful and thank you for watching.